Hey guys, Rochelle here and Shad, Foxy Dog. Uh, we are bringing you some PB content today. It's a public beta environment. Today we're showing you the new champion select that's uh, going to be coming through to you guys in season six. It looks really awesome. It's a bit different from season five, and I think you're going to like it. So, where does every champion select begin? Well, it's, it, uh, it begins by pressing the play button. No surprises there. And uh, this is where things get a little funky. We're going to queue up for a draft game here. And uh, we're not actually queued up just yet, but we're setting up. We're in the lobby right now. And already it looks pretty darn cool. Just my opinion, but it looks pretty darn cool. Um, now, something which has also changed coming into Season 6 is that you can use uh, the, the matchmaking here in solo queue to queue up with as many people as you want in solo queue. Two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter how many people or just by yourself if you want to. Um, for the purposes of this video, we're going to invite one of our friends, Katie Chaos, here. And uh, we're going to show you uh, how this champion select, champion select works. Another really cool feature here as well is that before the game even begins, you get to choose your primary and your secondary role. Now, because I like to play jungle, I'm going to choose jungle as my primary. And because I'm pretty darn awesome on the hookers, thresh and blitz crank, I'm going to choose support as my secondary role. So once I've chosen my primary and secondary role, we're going to queue up. And my ally has chosen primary and secondary role as well, my teammate. We're going to queue up and we're going to find a game. I don't know how long this queue will take, um, hopefully not too long, but as you can see already, just the looks of this uh, new Champion Select, just the looks of the queue really, not even in Champion Select yet, this is just the queue. It looks really cool. I do feel like it's an area where League is kind of lacking compared to some other games. You don't necessarily even notice that it's lacking in these areas, but when you go play some other games, you really see how polished it is, and League kind of lacks that because it is fundamentally an old game. So I really like how they're revamping the style, and it honestly just looks really cool. I don't know how well you can hear stuff right now. Um, hopefully you can hear it well enough because I can hear it quite well. I'll turn it up a tad. Just a tad. I might regret doing this, but I'll turn it up just a tad. And yeah, it's just very atmospheric. You know, it's, it's nothing... That's you know jumps out at you, but it's it just uh, all seems really cool. I should also use this time as well to apologise if I look like a bit rough. It is currently 4:45 a.m., almost 5 a.m., and uh, here I am making a video for you guys. Uh, the lengths I go to to give you guys hot off the press PB content. And like I mentioned before as well, uh, I could be queuing up here with as many people as I wanted to, and it would still be solo queue. Not even ranked fives. I could have five people queuing up for ranked, and it wouldn't even be ranked fives. It would be solo queue. So, uh, you know, it's interesting to see how that might shape things for season six. Uh, off the top, you might say it sounds stupid because it gives you know your team a huge advantage, uh, but CS:GO makes it work, and you know, there's uh, other reasons as well why it could still work. So here we go. A match has been found, we'll click the ready button, and we are in Champion Select. Firstly, that is a really, really cool animation. And uh, now we get on to the first part of Champion Select, which is something which is going to be very new to you guys, is you get to choose your intended, like you get to hover over your picks that you want to choose for the game. Now, I'm not locking in anything just yet. I'm just signaling to my team what it is that I intend to play, what it is that I want to play. This gives you a little bit of an opportunity to maybe forge a team comp around what your team wants to play. So once everyone's chosen uh, their intended pick and the time has counted down, we're going to go into the pick and ban phase. Now, this is slightly different to what you're seeing on live because it's three people three people they get to ban and it's not the first pick it's the the three bottom picks from each team they'll go right left right left right left or left right left right whatever it may be so first ban comes out is Mordecai so you can see the aesthetics here it just looks really really cool I mean someone chooses a champion they pop up and then they get disintegrated and it's I don't know it just looks really cool and if, as you can hear I'm hoping you can hear uh, it's it just it's very atmospheric and it really pumps you up for, for the for the game ahead. Now it's my turn to ban a champion, so I'm just going to choose someone who I really hate to play against. If you watch my stream, you'll know my two hated champions are Riven and LeBlanc. So uh, LeBlanc's right here, so we'll just click on her. Ban her away. There we go. Goodbye LeBlanc. See you in hell, love. And uh, once this ban phase is over, then we'll get down to the picks. Now this is something which you will be uh, used to seeing. They're banning my Lee Sin. That makes things interesting because I've already chosen, I've already indicated that I would like to pick him. They're not going to ban him. All right, they changed their mind. Um, yeah, this is, you know, this is, is unique in the sense that 
It's not. Live and die. Oh, there we go. We, we've. You know, it's not just one person banning. We, that, that's an insta lock right there for the first pick. And that, again, something which looks really, really awesome. The aesthetics of it all just look amazing. Uh, you've got this little bubble here. When someone chooses something, it pops up. They lock it in. And it's just sexy. What can I say? And another really cool thing as well is that it's not just you that hears the champion. Uh, their, like, battle cry, so to speak. It's uh, everyone in the champs that can hear it. Like I heard Talon say, uh, live and die by the blade. So Annie looks like she's coming in for us here. We're going to pick the Annie. The Annie's coming in. Caitlyn. Canny. Uh, Canny. That's, like, that's like a weird mixture. Caitlyn was actually someone uh, that this guy hovered. So he shouldn't take too long uh, deciding what champion uh, he's going to choose. Now this is the PB, which means that sometimes it's slow. It's unresponsive. There may even be bugs at times as well. And uh, this isn't a final product. So bear with me on that one as well. But this is just getting, giving you a general gist of what you can expect to see from the from the champion select. You will notice as well that the pick phase goes kind of fast because people have already decided what they're going to play. So it already kind of automatically chooses for you. You get to choose whether or not to actually pick that champion, whether you want to lock it in or choose something else. Uh, but in general, uh, people kind of know what they want to play. Uh, they've already signed up for their role, so it's not organizing who's going to go where and all that lovely business. Uh, you have ample time to decide what you want to play and usually you're just waiting for your turn to lock in. So Summoner 3 on the red team is uh, contradicting what I just said and he's taking his sweet ass time. But he's going to choose a champion in the end. Here comes Lucian. Is he going to whip it out? Whip out the old Lucian? No, misfortune. Fortune Last second switch. Think. There it is. So now I'm waiting for this guy to pick and I'm going to pick straight after him. It is uh, me saying it's... Here we go. Uh, you can choose your champion here. It has, it has indicated here that this is a champion I would like to play. So it has already picked it for me, but it hasn't locked it in. So I could change, like here. But I am going to pick the Lee Sin, so I'm just going to lock him in. Um, choose my skin as well here. I'm going to go for the Knockout Lee Sin. There we go. Lovely stuff. Uh, this is your, your summoners down here as well. And when you change these summoners, the sound of the summoners plays. I don't know if you can hear that very well, but yeah, and your runes are here as well, you click here and you can change your skin. So here we go, this is five people locked in and now we're just waiting for the game to launch. This is a pretty cool graphic as well right here, you can see, uh, and this uh, crystal here means that we are on the blue side, it shows what side we are going to be playing from. I'm assuming the red team would see the other side, but anyway, that was the champion set guys. Uh, from here you'll load in, you can change your champions as well if you want to do that. From here you'll load in, you'll play the game, it'll be standard, normal stuff. I just wanted to show you this, uh, I'm going to dodge here because I don't actually want to play this game. Uh, but I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing the new champion select. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, leave a comment telling me what you thought. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in my next... Well, there you go, someone else dodged. I'll see you, <laughs> that was getting a bit close there, I'll see you in my next video guys. Thanks a lot.